What's up, tasty tasters? So today, you guys, we are doing my beer battered fish. Yes, beer battered fish. So you can use any fish you choose. I'm once again using Swai. I love that fish, um, the mildness of it. You can use actually cod for this or any um, fish that's sturdy enough that can hold up. But I'm going to use Swai, okay? So you guys, I have a pound of Swai. I have two beers, non-alcoholic beers. Um, this is Callus, Callus, I don't think I'm saying it right. Kloster Haler. Anyway, um, they're not alcoholic beers. I get these from Trader Joe's. So you can get, get, I got each one so you can see the two different beers. One is a dry hop, one is original. I'm probably gonna use the dry hop because it's gonna give me that beer, more beer flavor. We're gonna use some Andes Goldfish Batter. Okay, so we're gonna use that as our battering. You're gonna need some cornstarch. You're gonna need some canola oil. You're gonna need some um, pink Himalayan salt, some white pe ground pepper. LB seasoning blend, whatever seasoning blend you choose. And I'm you definitely I recommend you use your wing dust um buffalo flavor um because it's gonna add something to that batter that you just can't get without it. But guys, go ahead and grab your ingredients and come on back. We're gonna fry up some beer batter fish. So guys, like we talked about, we just split them down the middle. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Um you can cut those in half if you want, or you can leave them um you can leave them whole. So we just take our knife, our Galenian knife, and we just come down the middle. Come down the middle. If you're having a problem that it's not cutting, you just come down the back side of it and cut through that line too. And it's just gonna, it should just separate. So you should, you see how that's just, it should just separate. You shouldn't have to too much fight with it. Just come down the middle and that's it and middle now when you get to this part you have to cut a little bit more but that's it just come down the middle so we're going to go ahead and cut the rest of these up you can cut these pieces in half or you can leave them whole it's up to you so i'm going to go ahead and get these rest of these cut up and then we're going to go ahead and start our batter okay guys we're going to do a quick rinse in cold water on our fillets here and then we're going to pat them dry and then we're going to begin to prepare our batter okay Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about, guys, is here we have our fish. So let's do this first, okay? So here we have our fish. Into our fish, we're going to season it along with, we're going to put some cornstarch. The reason why we're going to do cornstarch, you guys, is because it's going to help the um, batter adhere, oops, adhere to the actual fish, okay? So you're going to use about three tablespoons or so. I didn't measure that exactly, as you can see. <laughs> Into our cornstarch, though, I am going to add about a tablespoon, approximately, of my LB's seasoning blend. Because we want all the layers of the fish to be seasoned. So, possibly a tablespoon to two tablespoons. And then we're going to get in there with our hands, and we're just going to coat the fish really good okay so we're coating our fish if you don't have enough and you see it's not enough it's not a big deal just add some more it won't matter add a little bit more cornstarch or whatever you're doing it should adhere just like this this is what you want it's okay if it's a little moist but you want to make sure that it's adhering properly okay so once that adheres to the fish make sure you got enough seasoning on each one everything spread out if you need some more cornstarch, add it. If you don't think you need any more, don't. If you need some more seasoning, add it. If you think you need some more. If you don't think you need any more, don't. Okay? So go ahead and do that. And then we're going to move this out the way. Okay? Okay, guys. So into our bowl, I have my entire pack of Andy's batter mix. I added in a cup of cornstarch also. I added in a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder. Now, let me tell you this. I'm going to add in a little bit more of LB seasoning blend, about a tablespoon. Because I like my fish to be seasoned all the way through. So, we're going to put in about a tablespoon. As a, Unfortunately, guys, I'm shaking this with my hand. And, of course, you know, the shaker is not the same as if I just took the lid off of this. So, that is about... 
I want to say about a tablespoon because as you know it's not precise at that point we're going to add in about an eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper we're going to add in a teaspoon of salt approximately <laughs> And guys, we're going to add in the coup de gras. The thing that's going to make this just taste, it's just going to, it just brings this taste in the backdrop that you can't deny. So we're going to add in a tablespoon of wing dust, of buffalo wing dust. That's it. You don't need a lot, just a tablespoon. And I can promise you, once people eat this fish, you, they'll probably never want regular fish again. Okay, so you want to mix dry, your dry ingredients together, like so. Okay, so let me, while we're doing this, let me kind of explain to you guys about the different beers. Okay, so the difference between the beer, you have this one, which is a dry hop. It's going to give you a stronger beer flavor. And then you have this one, which is just the original, old, non-alcoholic beer. It's just going to give you like a subtle beer flavor. Excuse me, Pepper. I personally want to taste the beer. I want that beer to just go through here like mad hatter. So what I'm going to do is as you're going to watch me, I'm going to slowly begin to pour the beer in. Okay? You're going to probably need this whole bottle, let me just tell you, to get this batter to what consistency you want. Okay? Okay? It shouldn't be lumpy, it should be kind of thin. If you see that it's kind of lumpy and it's not what you want it to be, you can either add in more beer or you can add in water, okay? What I'm gonna add in is, you see how, I don't like that consistency right there. So that was the first bottle, guys. So of course you know I have a second bottle. Boop, boop. <laughs> so now I'm gonna add in my second bottle. Now, of course, you know this batter looks like this color because of our beautiful little buffalo wing. So we're going to get this batter to the proper consistency. I don't want it thin. It should kind of almost be a little bit thinner than pancake mix. Okay. So we're about, this is it right here. Because it should be able to just adhere. So I ended up using... Half of the second bottle. So you're going to need about a bottle and a half if you measure this exactly how I did it, okay? So if you do one cup cornstarch, one full pack of Andes, you're going to need about a bottle and a half of your beer, whatever beer you choose. Or depending upon what beer size beer you get. Of course, you know, I have these, um, what's the inches, what size bottle is this? Um, this is 12 fluid ounces. So if you get a, a, a can of beer, then you won't have to. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit for about three to five minutes. So it can set up kind of like you would with cake mix. Let that sit real good. And then we're going to come in and batter our fish. Okay, guys. So my batter has sat for about five minutes. But I'm going to tell you a secret that's going to give you exactly what you really want. Okay. Take your, your fish Place it down in the batter, like so. It's going to adhere, as you can see, it's adhering. Take your fish, just push it on down in the batter, like this. You see how our batter thickened up a little bit? By the way, your batter is supposed to go in the fridge. I forgot to tell you that guys part, that part. The resting period is supposed to be in the fridge for five to 10 minutes. So mine was in the fridge for 10 minutes. I just pulled it out. Now I am adding in my fish. And as you notice, guys, I am pushing my fish all the way in, completely in up under here. And what we're gonna do, and the reason why we're doing this is because we're not cooking it yet. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave this in this batter for 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes. But before you put it up, this is what you want to do. You want to cover this batter. I don't know if I have enough. I hope I do. You want to cover this bowl. I do. Whew, thank goodness. You want to cover this bowl like I'm doing 
with saran wrap, okay? So you cover this bowl with saran wrap, like so. Pop her in the fridge for the next 30 minutes. This batter is gonna coat this fish perfectly. You guys, in the meantime, while your, 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 your batter is in the fridge with your fish for 30 minutes, you wanna have your grease on a low heat, okay? Because you want that to continue to be getting hot. So when it comes time for you to drop this fish, you want to crank it up to medium heat. And then it's going to start about five minutes before medium heat. And then you're going to drop your fish. You guys, this is some of the crispiest, the most delicious fish you'll ever eat. So go ahead. See you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, guys. It's been 30 minutes. We're out of the fridge. And now we're going to go ahead and start our cooking process. Okay guys, so I am pulling our fish out of the bowl. We're draining it. We don't want too much extra fluid in there. And whatever you do, don't overcrowd your pan. So we're gonna go down with about two pieces at two to three pieces at a time. Okay, Tasty Tasters, here is our finished product, our beer battered Swahi. Guys, it is so, so good. I tasted some that came out of the grease. I'm not going to taste it on film for you right now because I'm about to do a video for you guys. So let's eat. And it's going to comprise three of the, our, our recipes from this week. And I'm going to sit down and we're going to have Fish Fry Friday. So guys, grab your ingredients. I hope you enjoyed this make yourself some fish so you can sit down with me on friday and i upload at 7 30 a.m so you can enjoy your fish friday so you guys know what it is comment subscribe if you haven't already give your girl a thumbs up and hit that notification bell ding 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 ding, ding so you can know next time tasty lb comes on with another video for you so until next time tasty tasters it's always a pleasure see you next time